Hey, welcome back to the channel. Doing a quick project today. Wanted to just kind of upload. It may be a short video. Who, who knows how it's going to turn out. But um, this is my late 80s. Um, it was a Chevy Wrecker 3x3 pickup. The guy bought it off of um, his uncle put in a Cummins in it with a 5-speed. And so um, I'm just doing some updates to it. When I bought it, the injection pump was leaking pretty bad. Um, ended up taking it apart. I've been through multiple injection pumps. Finally got it sent off to guys rebuilding it. That's a specialty. Uh, put turbo on it. I've done brand new injectors. I've done head studs from exotic heads. Studs. Um, new old pump, water pump. Rebuilt alternator. All kinds of stuff done to it. Um, so I'm just working my way through it. Um, getting it up and going. Uh, yesterday I put some new LED lights in around. And so here's what I'm doing, right? I am putting, uh, I'm gonna retime it and get the injection pump gear put back in. Um, reseal it, put a new front main on it. I wanna get the whole front end button back up so that I can, uh, get really close because I've got the injection pump being rebuilt a different one so once that one comes in I'll take this one and send it back to the guy who rebuilds um, and have him rebuild that one so I can have a, an extra VE laying around because you never know when you need a second VE this is a bed liner that I did recently on it so I put a fast fueling pump on it and let's see if we can look at it here there it is. Got it mounted down here on the back side of this. Like I said, this is uh, used to be an old wrecker. Um, 3x3 Chevy. So, yeah, got a lot of stuff going on. I'm going to do a remote mount for the batteries in the bed. I've got a toolbox back there. I'm mounting them in. So, yeah, here it is. Um, oh, yeah, I, I did the billet freeze plugs. So, just working my way through it, making it safe. All right, a couple things I want to talk about real quick is front main seals. If you can get the Cummins one that's not the cheap Chinese knockoff ones, get them. These don't fit very well and will pour oil like crazy at the front side of your engine. Ask me how I know. Example A. Why? Um... If you're using RTV, use very little, not this much. As you can see, this is a little extra. One. Two, if you're using it, um, apply it, let it sit for a little while, let it dry and get really good and tacky. And instead of it squishing out all the way around and it have nothing left, it'll provide a little film layer on there and make it stick and make it seal a whole lot better. Um, so yeah, let it drag a little tacky, put it up on there, put a few bolts in it, cinch it up just ever so slightly, let it start setting up, and then put it, put it to the torque specs so that, um, you don't have any leaks. And when I've done that, I've never had leaks out of these things. All right, here we go. Um, so I gotta put the engine at top dead center in that little special barring tool that goes back in there. Well, I don't even think I have the hole for that, so whatever, I'm not doing it. Get some RTV on it, squish it up, lock it down, ready to go. So in order to time this thing correctly, I'll show you right down here. You gotta line those two up, but before you line them up exactly, you want to get them backed off of here. And then there's a pin. Let's see if I can find it. See that pin right there? What you want to do is you want to push that pin in, and it'll hit the back of this gear right here. And you see right back here is where that pin sits. In the back of this gear, there's a, a hole in it. So when you start rotating the engine over, 
and get to where this goes to top dead center, the pin back here, keep pressure on it with your finger as you're rotating, and then when the gear slides in the right place, it will boop, it'll slide all the way in. There you go. You are timed. So this is becoming a pain in my rear. So what I'm gonna end up doing is taking the injection pump off, setting it over here out of the way. That way I can get my hand down in there because I have, well, they're Magnum hands. Anyways, um, get my hands down here that pin so I can properly time this thing. So here we go. All right, I'm gonna show you kind of what happens here. Um, so I got the time, I got the pin to slide in, but here we go. We're gonna show you what I'm talking about. So you reach down here like so, you push it up against, it's hitting the back of that cam gear like we talked about a minute ago. I wanna rotate the engine over while I'm doing that. Hope you can see this here. I'll be applying um, pressure to this pin and you can see it slide in here just like that boom done now make sure you pull that pin back out or you'll shear it off and you can't use it anymore it is plastic but oh well all right I figured I'd do this one more time since this might be a little bit better of an angle so you can see it so it is not currently timed. The cam gear is not in the correct place. And so I'm gonna push this pin up against, boom, like that. And then I'm gonna rotate the engine and I'm gonna, as I'm keeping pressure on it. There it is. And pull that back out into its original factory location. Otherwise it'll shear it off and this is worthless. And you have to buy a new one. It's plastic, but still, it is what it is. Now you can see that it is timed appropriately. You can see where the timing marks are right there. They're kissing each other. And then the cam gear will go right back in here. And I'll take some video of that as we get farther in. All right, so let's talk all things cam gears here. Here's the cam gear that goes in it. As you can see here there's a couple there's two sides to it and it doesn't matter which side goes in typically 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 you're going to see the painted mark goes out so this painted mark here is going to go towards the front of your truck and then the unpainted is going to go towards the back and here's why you may not be able to see this but this gear here it is tapered so the injection pump sits in here and when you tighten this injection pump nut right here on it seats the injection pump in here with a keyway and locks it into place so please don't forget put this gear on correctly if you take it out otherwise you'll royally screw up your injection pump and it'll cause for a rebuild your uh injection pump rebuild guy will love you for it so let's see here and this paint mark here typically will line up with the paint mark on the cam gear. There's two sets of paint marks in the cam gear. There's the, the double one, there's a V, and that goes with your crank. And then this one goes with your second cam mark gear. All right. There we go, start buttoning things back up. A couple things real quick I wanna to talk to you about. Get your rag, spray some carburetor cleaner on it, and wear the, the timing case cover seals on here. Scrub it really good, otherwise you're gonna create a lot of leaks. Um, so just go ahead and do that and save yourself a lot of time.
as you can see, there are a lot of different size bolts that go in to that cover there. And you don't have to worry about what bolts go where necessarily, except for the the deep ones that go for the um, the crank pulley for the for the uh, art, the tachometer. That's the only two that matter. And these are those ones that are threaded like this, deep ones, but. It's pretty well easy, self-explanatory. You don't have to worry too much.